There are a few videos online that say it's possible to delete a permanent code. And I'm going to try what they say to do. And you guys can go ahead and judge the results for yourself. So stay tuned. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Random Fix. So we got a permanent code here on this 2014 Dodge Caravan. And permanent codes affect vehicles that are 2010 and newer. So normally you cannot delete a permanent code, but these videos state that you can go and delete these permanent codes. And I have a P113 here. And normally the vehicle needs to go and clear this on its own. And the videos are stating that you can go and clear up the permanent code by using one of these resistors here. And this is a 10 watt resistor. And I'll leave you guys a link for this in the video description box down below. If you want to try this for yourself as well as the video that i'm referencing and here's going to be how it works you need to disconnect the battery first so let's go ahead and do that now you hook up the positive to your vehicle's positive lead and the negative to the negative lead and you hook up the other two ends to the resistor here and there's some other videos that also give the instructions of running the cable between the negative and the positive. So the yellow cable is now hooked up for that as well. And now we're going to go ahead and wait 15 minutes. And you guys can go ahead and judge the results for yourself. And before we reach the end of the video, please comment down below if you think this is going to work or not. And let me know the reason for your logic. And after 15 minutes, I am going to go ahead and reconnect the battery. And let's check on the status of that permanent code. And there's the miles. I have not moved or driven the vehicle. And the permanent code is still there. So you guys can go ahead and judge this for yourself. So I left the vehicle overnight like this with the resistor hooked up and now I'm going to reconnect the battery. Let's see what happens when the vehicle has been sitting in for almost 23 hours like this. And there's the mileage. The vehicle has not been moved and the permanent code still exists. Yeah, that is not looking good. Let me know, guys, if I made a mistake somewhere during the making of this video. But I follow this down to a T. And again, as I previously believed, permanent diagnostic trouble codes cannot be deleted. They have to be self-cleared by the computer using the warm-up rules and the 200 miles of driving. And again, this affects vehicles 2010 and newer and mostly in California. Is this something that I would recommend that you guys try? No, because it obviously doesn't work. If you know anybody that has success with this, please share with us what the exact method was and show us on a video as we would all love to go ahead and get rid of this pesky permanent coach. And I know somebody's going to comment down below that Scotty Kilmer said that you can delete these. And guys, I have watched his videos. He has never said that. What he has said and I've demonstrated in previous videos is you can go ahead and erase a check engine light on older vehicles by touching the two wires from the battery together, which I do not recommend as you could damage the vehicle. But nonetheless, that would get rid of a check engine light on an older vehicle. And you can use a $30 OBD2 reader to go ahead and see what the computer is seeing and know how close you are to clearing that code. And I'll leave you guys a video link for that as well. And if anybody finds a video of a permanent code being deleted, guys, please send it my way. If you guys do want to learn how to clear them, I will leave you guys a video link in the description box down below. Thank you so much and make it a great day.